<clears throat> been a while. So I started a new save and we are up to speed where we left off for the most part. Where I need to find some work. There are some slight changes because I changed up my character a bit since I had to redo everything. Otherwise it's pretty much, well I guess there's not much of a canon storyline for this save anyway, but... Things are mostly the same, short of some deviations due to gender changes. Benny's dead, obviously, although I don't think you ever actually got to see Benny. That mod was causing trouble anyway. They're going in with the uh, classic mercenary esque loadout pump action shotgun and an M1911 of some sort. Should definitely make him think twice. I'm being sent on a mission with three purposes. Rescue Dr. Keeley, retrieve the data in the vault, and just to be safe, we're also going to get some things for the people to steal because we're trying to make them our friend. Got some eats. Ammo that I can trade for later. I also have two style hand grenades and a handy dandy little piece of hardware called the uh called a time bomb that I made in the back of the uh, I made on my workbench before coming out here because I figure if I remember right you have to blow shit up in this and I couldn't find C4 anywhere you can use this as a guide if you want although Not a very good guide. We should be ready. Huh. Oh, that's the I guess that grenade was a dud. Alright, let's go. Obviously, I brought an entire harem with me. Will do. Got the medic, the hothead. Oh wait, no. Got the medic, the hothead, and the rookie. You are going to think I'm such a coward right now, but I am very scared. This place is so spooky. Mm-hmm. Like I said, the rookie. Obviously, since uh, this is uh, the last place you'd want to bring a death call along, I left Draco to go and terrorize the Gamora. Okay, time to do the funny. Damn it! Okay, just stay right there. Sorry, I... 
wish they'd show the Whatever icky AIDS they had growing down here. It's got to be uh, food production.
level up. Yep, totally not broken stats. Definitely didn't do anything. And, yep, totally not cheating. What do you mean? Hey. Nah, I definitely fucked around with that. I'm pretty sure the locker is somewhere here. In no mood for hunting. some of the best medical experience I could ask for. You're a bullet magnet. Probably this way. Yeah, that's right. The air filters would be on oxygen recycling, wouldn't they? I guess I better go get the ghoulie. Some more critter stomp. That's what I call spawn killing. Took your sweet time. I s all right, all right. Just trying to make a little conversation. Should have known a youngin like you would be in a hurry. But that's neither here nor there. These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got a plan to deal with them, but I'll need your help. Good. Meet me on the second level, and...
Good, you're here. Ready to begin? Am I ready to begin? Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans, and we need to get rid of them. I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the vast majority of spores. There's one problem, though. The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh, and... Okay, I think I know a good way to make a massive explosion happen. Now we just let the game have a heart attack for a moment here. Not sure what the heck's causing this, but that's alright. Okay, when this thing goes, it's gonna go. Let's... Let's not get blown up. So dramatic, Delilah. Please, you'll be fine. Get back up. There you go. See, you're fine. Hey. Ah, good. You survived. Now all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. I've managed to create a connection to the vault's backup system from here. I just have to remotely delete all the files, and we're done here. Indeed. This should only take a minute. Just a few more moments, and... That's strange. The system says that the files were accessed recently, and copied to an external source. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Maybe your mama might know, but I don't know. It's possible. I've spent the last few days in a cave, after all. For all we know, that man sent someone immediately after you to swipe the data while you posed as mantis bait. Nothing to be done about it, I suppose. All we can do is delete what's here, and that's done. I've unlocked the door, so I'm afraid to live alone now. Although it pains me to say it, I wouldn't have made it out of here without your help. If you're heading back toward McCarran, tell Dr. Williams that she has my thanks as well. Uh, the things we do to ensure the silence of dissidents. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. We got a few new deliveries to make, it seems. Did you see that? I have never seen two of anything doing that before. Wow. Ain't that something? Okay, let's go make our delivery. 
plot twist. We are now on the road. Must be a Fallout 3 fan. Yeah, that's definitely a Fallout 3 fan. Hello. Keely just called in. You should have heard the director. But I. Wait up. Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence just reamed him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping her safe. Here's the caps I promised. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Pity. When I was a kid, Dad told me the legend of Deadeye Cedric. Cedric. I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. It seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. Wonderful. Excellent work. Let me see it. It'll take a moment to decode on my terminal. I think William's decryption algorithms seem to be working. Yes, here it is. The data is mostly uncorrupted. This will make the board of directors finally sit up and take notice. Here then, as promised, an agreeable sum payable upon delivery of the data. You've more than done your part. <laughs> Rick had lost both eyes, but he could hit a bottle cap in midair with his hunting rifle. All right, next delivery. Brother in a steel bunker needs their Christmas presents. And by Christmas presents, I mean stuff that'll filter their air so that they stop breathing sand. Maybe they'll be a little bit more charitable and friendly after that. these up.
better if they don't think that I'm armed all that well just yet. Not that a hunting shotgun is of much interest to them, but if they think that I'm primarily using this kind of stuff, which admittedly I am using this car a lot more than I would normally, I didn't record it, but it's a good rifle. Alright, well, time for the Mauser man to make a delivery. Honestly, work is going to be scarce soon, so I think I should return to my work with the Mojave Express as soon as I can figure out a way to fix my hat. What did I leave in the box? Nothing. There's nothing else. It's an empty box. I heard the pistol got returned. Thanks a lot. I am never going to listen to Watkins again. Believe me. Ten years later and they're a married couple and he's still keeping his word. Why don't you ever listen to me? Do you? How may I assist you? Good to see you. Alive, that is. Have you found all of the components yet? Really? I mean, that's great. Mm. I knew you could do it all along. Why don't you go tell the Elder the good news? Uh-oh. I think I broke the game again. Well, I guess that ends this video.